Hey Floss Tube, Cat here. It's been a while, I know. Um, my almost four month baby, four month, four month old, you wouldn't say four month year old, <laughs> four month old baby, um, keeps me extremely busy. She is starting to teeth already. It's ridiculous. I love her to death, but it's ridiculous. Amazingly, she's asleep in her crib right now for nap, which is amazing because normally she naps in my arms. So, to make a long story short, I don't get much stitching done these days right now. It's what it is. I also don't get much floss tube watched these days because it's what it is. <laughs> so, anywho. I do have some stuff to show you though, because it's been like, what, like a month since I did a video, I think. I know, slacking, slacking. Anywho, um, we are fully in the new house. I'm still trying to get everything put away, so it's a little messy. Sorry, real life. Um, again, I just don't have enough hours in the day, it seems like. But, let me see. Um, I don't know how to start this. Let's just... I do this so unconventionally compared to most of you. <laughs> well, it is what it is, right? Um, so I do have a finish. I showed you guys this, I think, in my last YouTube video as a whip. Um, I did finish it. It does sit in my kitchen right now. So, oh, look at that glare. Let's try it this way. So this was the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. It was in the Halloween magazine, uh, the Batty Bakery. I did get it finished. I found this awesome frame on like a super clearance at Hobby Lobby. It was like, I don't even know, like a couple bucks. It was really cheap. It's a really awesome, like sturdy frame. Anyways, um, so I did get that done. It turned out super cute. Sorry, I'm having to turn it to the side if you guys can see it, but anyways, it turned out super cute. I love it. Um, it, like I said, sits in my kitchen right now because I'm putting it in there for the the early holiday. I've had it up in there since September. <laughs> um, let's see. I think I don't have everything I bought to show you guys because I've been putting it away because I can't just have it all sitting out here with the baby. But I did just get this in the mail though, so I will show it to you. Um, I decided to do, I needed some fabric, and I decided to do a first order from um, Hand Dyed by Rolanda. I know a lot of you guys love her fabrics. So I decided to try them. Here is her card. Just in case you've never heard of her. She has an Etsy store. She did super fast shipping. She does come from Canada, but I had no issues. It came, I don't know, within like a week or something. Um, so it wasn't bad at all. I, her fabrics are gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, so this one is called, and she gave me this free medium minor. I'll show you in a minute too. This one's called Fire Red. It's an 18 count Ada. I only stitch on Ada. Um, this, the colors on here are not going to be great. My lighting's not good in here right now. It's like a pretty dreary day. And this was like a free little needle minder she gave me. So cute. Um, but it's gorgeous. It's like a, it looks different on there, but it's a much lighter red. It's absolutely gorgeous. I also got, um, this 18 count, she doesn't have a name on it, but it's like a pink and white. I got this for a project, um, in Easter, I've got an Easter egg factory I want to do. Called. So, but you get really big pieces for the price. Like the price is good. I think I paid with shipping, like maybe 80 bucks for all of this. Plus, I mean the pieces are like 17 and a half by 27. Some of them are bigger than that. Some are 18 by 27 and a half. I mean those are good size pieces for that price, and that was with shipping. So. Um, this is, again, there's no color on it, it's 18 count, it's a really pretty blue, I actually got this to go with, I'll show you in a minute, um, my Santa house cell from the Tiny Modernist, because I have so much time to stitch, but I'm going to start that too, so there's that one, um, this one, it's called Palomino, 16 count, it's really pretty, kind of like, and gold. It's gorgeous though. Again, you're not going to see the colors really great on here. I'm sorry about that. 
but it's gorgeous. And then this one, I have no idea what I'm ever going to do with this one, but it was gorgeous. And I had to have it for some kind of Halloween project someday. So it's 16 count. Look at that. Purple and grays and like whites. It's, oh, it's gorgeous fabric. This is gorgeous, gorgeous fabric. So I just had to have it. Like I said, I don't want to do with it, but I had to have it. So, um, so there's that. So I will show you a couple whips. I'm gonna make this short and sweet though because, you know, baby's sleeping. Um, I'll check on her. So <laughs> this is a hot mess, but I did start. I bought all the chalk on the farm stuff because I love them for my local LNS. Um, this is the newest one. And I did start it. Um, here is my progress on that. Ooh, you can see right through it on this one. I've got it on Chalk Ada. There we go. I have started it though. Cute little sloth new reminder. I figured that was appropriate considering I get nothing done. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways, super fun. I love this. It's an easy stitch. It's really cute. Um, so I am using the Gentle Arts Chalk White, but then for the rest of them, I am using um, different um, Victorian Moto, Moto threads that I chose out. I get the, um, the monthly subscription of 12, so I just decided to use some of hers, so I mean I'm not going to show you them all, but I just keep them in bags and um, I just chose the colors that were similar to the colors I'm using, so no big deal there. Um, so that's one of my whips I've been working on. Another one I've been working on, which I'll show you. Working on dil diligently. Um, so I have the Lizzie Kate Four Seasons. Spring, summer, autumn, winter. Um, I started out with spring because I'm doing them in a four panel. But I'm going to have all four of them on one. So here is where I'm at with spring. And this fabric, you, not, you can't really see it very good. It's Ada. It's like purples and blues. It's really pretty. So there's where I'm at with that. It's almost done. The spring one. So then it's going to go spring. Let's see how I'm doing. I'm doing spring, summer, fall, winter. So it's like a, you know, like a clock. So. And then I will frame that all in one piece. So oh, that was kind of cool. It's fun to do. It's easy stitch. I can do something with easily. I need to. So there's that. And then, of course, I've also been working on my Haunted Mansion style um, by the Tiny Modernist. Now, I'm not very far. Most of you guys are way farther than I am. Here's my progress. Again, the baby keeps me busy, man. And this one I have to really concentrate on. Like that, those other couple are much simpler. I can just kind of put them down. This one, because it's such a big pattern, I have to really concentrate. So I don't get near as much done on this one because um, I just don't have the time or the concentration. I love it though. It's beautiful and I do love it. So there's those that I've been working on diligently and I think they've released all but like one room so far so I'm like way behind. But it's what it is, right? Some of you know what I'm talking about. If you've got a baby, like you understand. It it's not easy to stitch when you've got a baby. The sun has decided to poke its head out, I guess. <laughs> now we're gonna have like a tiny bit of sunshine. <laughs> Blank out the video. Okay, so um a little more haul. So when I bought this one, because this was the newest one, I actually had them order me all of them because um not well, because I wanted them all. So I also got Sunflower Manor. And those of you who are not familiar with these, um so hands on design does them. It's the chalk, the chalk on the farm stuff. Um Priscilla is the one that designs them. If you don't watch her on um YouTube, which I'm sure y'all do because you know we all watch them because oh, that baby is just adorable. Anyways, so there's that one. And then I also got this one. This 
is the Queen Bee Flower Farm. This is Fresh Eggs Farm. And then I got the Let It Snow Bungalow. So my plan with these is that I want to do them, at least the farm ones up, and then I want to get like a chalkboard type thing that I can switch them out on. So that was kind of my plan. Um, I am using the 16 count chalkboard black Ada for all of them. I bought a huge, um, I bought a huge yard of it, so I should have enough for all of them. Um, so I have that. And then, let's see what else here. So I'm also going to be starting... So I'm going to be starting the Santa's House six-part mystery series uh, by the Tony Moderate. Moderate uh, I can't talk right now. You guys know who I'm talking about. So I'm doing that one. Um, I am doing that one on this fabric. This one I showed you. The blue one. I am doing it on that one. So that's going to go in that bag. And we've started getting, uh, so far we've gotten the house for that one, but like I said, I don't have time to start it right now. So I'm doing that one. I also ordered the other day, because I decided to do all these as well, um, so I showed in one of my videos that I got the Halloween house trio that everybody's doing by Waxing Moon Designs, there's that one. So I also went onto her website because she just released the new Christmas one, Christmas house trio, so I had to get that one. And then while I was on there, they also had the Patriotic House Trio, so I got that one too. And I'm not sure how I'm going to do these. I'm going to be stitching them all together so that I can, um, on one piece of fabric so that I can put them in some kind of like a switch out frame thing, like I'm doing with a lot of my other stuff. Um, I just have not decided how I'm going to do that yet. So there's those ones that I bought. I think... That's all the new stuff that I haven't showed you, maybe, recently. Um, yeah, I like I said, I know I've gotten more stuff. I just, I put it away and whatever, try to keep this house clean with the baby. She's going to start moving soon, probably. She's trying already, so. Um, anywho, though, so I think, oh, and there she is. So, with that, I will uh, talk at you later. Bye guys!